So you've heard a lot of people saying, my wallet got hacked. What if I tell you that you could be one of them? What if I tell you that your wallet right now, as of this moment, because 99% of you guys are, what if I tell you that your wallet is hackable and your wallet is prone to some bugs from, the, from some decentralized exchange? What if I tell you that all your coins could be withdrawn at any point automatically without your permission? It is possible and I'm sure that 99% of you guys and you can leave a comment below saying whether this applies to you or not. But I'm positive that 99% of you watching this video are making this mistake. So if you value your money and you don't want to be hacked, continue to watch the whole video. This video is sponsored by myself. Thank you. If you want to track your crypto wallet in a very safe, private and decentralized way, Check out my app, it's called Road to Crypto. I take privacy extremely serious, like serious. Um, it's called Road to Crypto, it's an iOS app, it's on the App Store, and here you can track multiple blockchains. For example, let me show you here. You have Ethereum, Polygon, AVAX, Moonriver, and inside of those, if you click it, so this is one wallet, and then you can track different blockchains. And then if you click on one of them, you can even see if you have scam coins there. For example, this one, I know for sure it's a scam coin. It's on my wallet. Someone gave it to me, but I know it's a scam coin because the app is telling me. The app is checking here the smart contract address if it's verified or not. And then here you can even see the full history of all the coins that you bought previously uh, on that a blockchain on that wallet it's super useful i'm planning to do a bunch of other stuff such as staking rewards uh checking for your account your wallet security just what we're doing in this video i'm going to implement this on this app so you can just with one click check your security it's super useful check it out all right so the way that i'm going to do this is i'm going to expose myself my wallet to these hackable events so you can see exactly how yours is exposed and then we can go from there i'm going to show you uh, real live examples and how to fix this and just watch the whole video so here is uh this is an aggregator it's called matcha so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a trade and this is matic i'm going to trade one matic actually i need to spend that much money 0.5 also by the way if you're doing uh trades on the centralized exchanges i'm seeing a lot of pros teaching people how to do uh trades and they leave this slippage to like one percent twenty percent that's crazy if you do that you're gifting your money just put it at 0 0.1 the in case that it fails because it's too slow uh just do it again like the fees is 0 0.00 uh nothing all right, so I'm going to choose here a coin that I have not traded before. So I'm going to choose a random one. And it could be, for example, I think that I've never traded this one. So I'm going to be trading 0.5 of Matic for this quick one here. And I'm going to approve this. Okay, transaction approved. So nothing out of the ordinary here. I'm just confirming the transaction. Now, when I try to trade it backwards, you'll see what happens. So quick. Now I'm going to sell this quick for my Matic. And I'm going to review the order. And look, it's going to ask me for approval. So I'm going to click approve and look what happens now. So allow this website matcha, which is a reputable website, it's pretty good. It's uh, from Zero X, the protocol or the, uh, whatever. So it's asking here for the uh, for this permission and look what it's automatically uh, as default, unlimited. So you're basically allowing this website to spend unlimited amount of coins, unlimited amount of, of uh, this coin from your wallet. And this, usually a lot of people just confirm the transaction because they don't even bother to look here. I was reading that if you do this unlimited here, the uh, the website or whoever tries to hack the website and they find a vulnerability on the contract or whatever the case is, 
uh, I was reading that they have access to all your coins. To me, it doesn't make sense. To me, it makes sense that it's only this specific coin, but I was reading on some other forums and websites that they have access to all your coins. It's just um, something to keep in mind. So this is what I do. I go here to custom, and then I put the amount that I want to transfer. So this is my balance. This is what I want to sell. So I would just put it here, paste, save, and then confirm. Now, however, I'm gonna go over uh, something here. Let me approve with unlimited so you can see exactly how your wallets are exposed and then how you can fix it. So I'm going to uh, leave it as unlimited and then just approve. And that's it. Just going to approve it. And basically what I allow the website, this website to do is just have control over my wallet. Like they can do with my coins, whatever they want. Now, many of these exchanges, the centralized exchanges are doing this because it's easier for the user to uh, swap back and forth without asking for reapproval. Because when you trade a coin, you're basically doing two approvals. The first one is this one to allow the exchange to spend your coins uh, to execute a smart contract. And then the second one is to actually execute the trade. Now I want to tell you really quick why you should not allow this unlimited approval. Even though it's very, very convenient for you to click that unlimited approval so you don't have to go twice clicking on approve and spend more coins. This is especially uh, the case on Uniswap on, on Ethereum because the, the high fees is enormous. So if you have to do two approvals, you're going to be spending like $120 just approving that trade. It's insane, I know. But this way guarantees you your security. Because if you're going away from exchanges, trying to put your coins safely in a wallet, then do it the right way. Then don't do this unlimited approval because any exchange, Uniswap, SushiSwap, Matcha, OneInch, all of them can withdraw your money at any time. I'm not saying that they they're going to, I'm saying that they could. Also, if a hacker hacks these websites or whatever the, the execution of the smart contracts, this hacker could maliciously uh, withdraw all your coins without the approval of uh, the exchanges and it would not be the fault of the exchange. All right, so let's cover now a real world example of what happened in 2020 when one of the projects, uh, specifically this one, Meow, came out and it was this token and everyone started with FOMO and everything else just like today just like today like you know people are FOMOing with uh, exchanges and uh, meme coins and everything else so this came, this website came out it was a, a, a DAX as well and all you had to do was unlock your wallet and then unlock your 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 meow and everything else and they would ask you for unlimited spending many people got hacked because of this because they were allowing this uh, website this exchange to withdraw a limited amount of coins and they just did the same thing that we did before with uh, the token swap they just did it here in this website so when you're doing this kind of stuff be careful don't allow this unlimited spending do just especially in these kind of websites do just the, the exact amount that you want to do now, if you do this amount, what you're doing is just a single transaction, just allowing the website to do one single transaction to execute through the smart contract. Before we continue, I want to correct something that I said on my previous video. And that is that uh, when you're in different websites, uh, they have all access to your MetaMask uh, wallet, even though it's, you know, if it's unlocked, I said that they would have access to your MetaMask wallet. I was doing a little research and uh, I believe that this is not the case. However, everything else that I said is correct. Uh, I do still recommend having different browsers as you're seeing here. I have this browser, Chrome, which I could have multiple uh, profiles. And I also have my main browser, that's fine. Um, however, if you take a look, look at this, uh, token. So I believe that this token is a scam. Uh, I've never bought it. I'm not planning to. But look what happens. If I go to it, it's going to ask for my wallet. 
So it doesn't really have access to my wallet. You see, if you refresh, it's just asking permission for my wallet to be able to see it. But all, all the website can see is that I have MetaMask installed, but it cannot see my actual wallet. So in some sense, uh, leaving your wallet unlocked is it's not really dangerous. MetaMask is sufficiently secure. Um, it, it obfuscates your wallet um, from websites like this. Um, MetaMask is secure, just as you can see it in this video. The problem is the user that is not taking precautions. All right, so let's get to the good stuff. How do you fix it? So you're going to go to this website, link down below in the description of this video. So you don't have to Google it. Just a quick note here, remember, we're doing this for Polygon, not for Binance or Ethereum or Avalanche or Phantom or any other web uh, network. So if you need one for another network, I'm going to show you an example later on, uh, which you can track different networks. Uh, but this specific sample is only for Polygon. What you want to do is put your address, your public wallet address on that search bar there. and um this website is going to show you all the places where you made a mistake of uh allowing the unlimited spending of your coins uh in other words all the places that can withdraw your coins at any point all of them without your permission so if you click here on edit to edit this permission you're going to see that uh the polygon scan is at is um doesn't know that you're the owner of this wallet so to verify your ownership of this of your wallet, the one that you're searching, you're going to click on connect to Web3. And then we're using MetaMask. So you're going to click MetaMask. OK, in my case, I already granted permission. In your case, it's probably going to uh, pop this up here uh, asking you for permission. Once you uh, approve that permission, you're going to click here on revoke. So you're going to click on edit book and then another smart contract confirmation is going to populate and you're going to leave here this unlimited because we're basically revoking the permission so you're going to click on confirm and then that transaction is going to be executed and you can see on activity here uh the status of that transaction polygon is really quick so it just approved now if you refresh the page you're going to see that this went away or not okay you just put me in the spot there um let me see if it actually approved all right so we're gonna have to wait a little more all right so it just approved uh if i click refresh now searching for my wallet address uh you're gonna see there that there is no result meaning that no website has access to my wallet so now if you go back here and you try to do the same thing so uh well you, you can do it right so you can uh try out the same thing that i did here and you're going to see that uh this website doesn't is no longer in possession of the unlimited spending uh approval that we see before all right and last i want to show you a website which i don't fully trust because it's a third party app and rule number one in crypto as of now and probably in the future do not trust anything just confirm do not trust anything but you know at the end of the day you have to trust at some level some degree right so it's this website it's called the bank again i'm gonna leave the link in the description and you can basically go through each blockchain each network here and see which one um has access in which one you gave away access to unlimited spending to your wallet uh, this is the same thing that we did before and then you can revoke here here the access it's very useful um i do recommend going to the explorer specifically from that blockchain um if possible to an official explorer all right that's it for this video if you found value in it please subscribe like it and share it to someone who you think that might benefit from it i'll see you in the next one ciao